This is going to come as a surprise to most of you, but your baseline serum or blood testosterone levels should not be used to decide whether or not you will benefit from testosterone therapy. What? We've known for a while that serum testosterone levels in both men and women don't correlate well with low testosterone symptoms. And there are a couple of big studies that you should know about. So first of all, there was a large meta-analysis in The Lancet in 2019 that looked at 36 randomized controlled trials in women who were given testosterone therapy. And the doses they were given was most commonly 300 microgram patches. In those women, they said that improvements in sexual function occurred regardless of baseline testosterone levels. This was also found to be true in Rebecca Glazer's work on testosterone therapy. She's also found that baseline testosterone levels did not predict whether testosterone helped or not. And even the global consensus guidelines on testosterone therapy for women say, quote, a blood testosterone level should not be used to diagnose HSDD, which is hypoactive sexual desire disorder, and that giving testosterone to women with symptoms of HSDD, like low libido, low desire, etc., is appropriate even if testosterone levels are in the normal range. I will say, if you have very high testosterone, if it's outside the normal range, you are probably not a good candidate for testosterone therapy. But if you have testosterone in the normal range, and especially if free testosterone is towards the bottom of the normal range, and you have low testosterone symptoms, testosterone therapy should be an option for you. Tell your doctor.